Elon Musk's startup XAI is debuting an updated AI chatbot tech. It's called Grok3. According to Musk, the model has more than 10 times the compute power of its predecessor. And XAI claims it beats out OpenAI's ChatGPT, Alphabet's Gemini, and DeepSeek's V3 model on benchmarks measuring math, science, and coding problems here. So, now we've got uh, brouhaha that's forming in the chatbots for some of the major tech companies and billionaire investors who are putting forth all of them their own AI, uh, generative AI chatbots right now. Yeah, and we know that Musk and Sam Altman over at, from OpenAI have gone head to head. Most recently have certainly been making headlines just about some of their disagreements. Of course, Musk uh, just in the last several days, of course, offering potentially to buy OpenAI's nonprofit arm for just over $97 billion. Mm -hmm. Of course, OpenAI rejecting that, saying it wasn't an offer at all. So this, of course, just, go, just fuels and feeds into that back and forth between Musk and what we have heard from Altman. I wanted to show up, uh, I I want to throw up a chart comparing the effectiveness or, or maybe how much we should trust Grok. Now, this has not been independently verified here, but just in terms of how advanced this chatbot is compared to others that are on the market, and at least according to Musk, it is much more advanced or at least is more capable than what else is out there. Here we go. We got it up on the screen right now, just in terms of math and science and also encoding. You're seeing that green right there. The bright green is Grok 3 compared to some of its earlier versions. And then you also compare it to Google's De Gemini, DeepSeek, and ChatGPT. 4.0. So again, has not been independently verified, which is the most important thing to point out in this. But again, Musk and XAI very much saying that this should be and is the most advanced models out there. How much you can trust that, though, is a lot of questions. And that's what the street's debating this morning. Yeah, you're taking a look at my squinty eyes going into some of the numbers here. And ultimately, I think what it comes back to is the people who have already started using some of these chatbots in one form or another, because that early mover, that first mover advantage plays a big role. Yeah, it's hard to get people then away from that.